there so today I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, projector see how good it is and uh, what it looks like and everything like that so let's see what's in the box here <coughs> projector here well, it's not terribly big it's about the size of a well, maybe a large size book about three inches thick or so definitely got some ports to choose from there let me get in a better light so there is an HDMI which makes it pretty versatile um, a couple USB ports for uh, expansion or, or something like that looks like there's an SD port so that you can look at your pictures um, there is a, a VGA port there too so you could connect a computer monitor uh, cord up to this guy and use a projector and on this side you got your power uh, cord right there in the box, you get a, a basic remote there. Uh, we got some, uh, just looks like some standard uh, RGB cables there. And then your power cable. And uh, a lens cap to go over that lens to protect it. So I'm going to be setting this up today with a... Um, Android box, this guy right here. Uh, I'm going to be using the HDMI setup. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't really have uh, a wall to put this on that's going to work terribly well, but I'm going to use my the inside of my garage door. And it should give us a good idea of what this thing um, can do, how clear it is, how bright it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up and uh, I'll be right back. So I went ahead and hooked this up for the first time and I did put it on the, the garage door of my garage like I said I would but I couldn't get a good enough picture to show you here. So this is what it looks like when it's all set up. Um, does have some manual controls on this that you can use to adjust it. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, I do need to take a minute and kind of adjust the height and stuff on this just so that we can get a good idea of what it looks like with a device plugged in. But this is the main menu on here. There are some standard controls that you can go through and once I get it uh, set up I will uh, show you. So I'll be right back for that. All right, so the projector's on. I've got it um, running uh, my Android box there, as you can see. Apologize for the stuff on the wall, but I don't have many places in my house to be able to do this. Um, as you can hear, it does have sound. So it does have an internal speaker. I wasn't sure about that, because there is a jack over here. Um, and one of these guys here is for audio. And the other one's for your AV, I was showing you earlier, those, uh, that yellow jack. So you got two controls up here. It looks like one, um, the rear one, if you watch we're doing this, will kind of adjust the angle that the um, projector is going at. I don't know if you can see that. Get focus here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see that back one, adjust that angle this one right here okay so once you get that in the right spot and then you've got this other one which is just your your uh, focus it looks like it's pretty well in focus for me I don't seem to be having any issues with that um, the clarity is pretty clear um, not a super high resolution but uh, this is also not a you know multi hundred dollar projector not meant for super high def gaming 
Um, with the lights off, it seems to be bright enough. I do have my flash on on my camera right now, so it's not too bad, um, to be honest. Uh, let's see what happens when we turn on the light. So it does wash itself out a little bit, but it's still definitely viewable, that's for sure. Um, and again, I don't have this like 100% adjusted for uh, for uh, like angle and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure if you set yourself up for like a, a, a theater room or something like that, it might work a little bit better for you. I don't know. Um, I'd certainly love to do that with this. Here's what it looks like all set up. I did have to prop it up on one side. Um, it does have a little leg down here for you to make some adjustments. It just screws in and out. Um, I'll light an angle um, the projector up if you have it set lower than the screen. And then of course you use that back knob over here uh, to make your adjustments. Um, we've got some buttons here for controls. So this brings up a menu to adjust uh, um, settings. This one is the source, so S is for source. So I'll switch from, of course, like the SD card to the USB port to HDMI uh, to the AV or to the uh, RGB, the uh, computer monitor input on the fly. So you could technically have multiple de devices connected to this all at once and then just switch between them by pressing that button. Um, the remote's easy to use. It's pretty much the same. It's just got uh, remote functions of all the physical buttons that are on the device. It is a little bit faster. Um, I mean, all in all, the, the, the unit was really easy to set up, um, really easy to connect to my device. Um, like I said, it's not a multi-hundred dollar projector, so it's not going to give you as, best, or as good as picture quality as your high-def TV or anything like that, but it certainly uh, would be good for watching videos, um, uh, maybe on your DVD player, or in this case, my uh, Android box. Um, could also be used for uh, some gaming, um, although I have heard that projectors have a little bit of lag when it comes to gaming, so you'd have to adjust for that. Um, all in all, it's not a bad buy for the price. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. Um, took me about, I don't know, five or so minutes to set up. I do have some knowledge of electronics, so if you don't have any knowledge, um, it may take a little bit longer for you, but again, it wasn't uh, rocket science or rocket science. So you just there's the plug there. And that's where I plugged in my HDMI. This is also where you could plug in a USB stick for videos or, or movies or whatever, and then or an SD card in that little slot down there. And uh, on the uh, rear of the device is going to be your uh, computer monitor plug in there it is in case you want to plug your computer into it um, play games or watch videos off your computer or just have a giant screen for your computer um, easy to power off and go ahead and power this guy off so as you can see it is off now I did turn it off I imagine it'll go into rest mode there it is so red light means it's getting power, it's just in some sort of sleep mode. Um, you can't hear the fan running, so um, it's definitely not um, on like it was before. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this review. Um, I definitely give this product a thumbs up based on the price. Um, you're going to get a lot of the features that you're going to find in a um, very expensive projector. Uh, for a much lower price and again it doesn't have the resolution or the speed of a very expensive projector uh, but it would definitely uh, work for like general use for watching videos with kids or movies with kids um, going through your pictures through the USB port etc uh, anyway thanks a lot